you! What's going on everyone? Guess who's back to vlogging? Yeah! That's right, this guy is. Well, at least I'm gonna try vlogging in a different format this time. Um, some of you that have been watching this channel grow in the last couple of years, even though I haven't been putting that much energy towards it, you'll know that at one point, I was vlogging. On our way to the airport, we got the egg tarts. I'm gonna put them on the seat right over here. And uh, I'm gonna have the flowers with me. When I was traveling with my girlfriend Francesca and we were doing videos every single day and I would, you know, do videos when I would be traveling to... Idea. In St. Petersburg, it's always raining and it's a bit windy. Actually, it's really nice. I personally love that weather. But here, it is 36 plus degrees, probably almost 40. The speaking engagements, I'd do videos when we were in California, and then we got a drone, and then... We were living in Italy in the summer, and so we had to vlog because you're in Italy during the summer, and we had just, you know, invested all this money in a drone, so we had to make those clips, but... Nonetheless, we didn't keep up with the vlog because my business was growing so much. And now, when we have a little more of a team, now we have a little more of systems, and I realized that I wanted to have this vlog to showcase the behind the scenes of what actually happens with someone who's growing a business. And, you know, I have a couple different businesses I focus on, and I wanna show the behind the scenes of not necessarily how hard I'm hustling or how hard I'm working, but some of the ways that I look and I think about the problems that I face on a daily basis. And, you know, I have two missions right now uh, in my life and in, in, in my business. And, you know, one, I'm trying to create the largest community of legacy driven entrepreneurs on this planet. And I don't know how to do that. And I haven't figured out a way of doing that. I've been trying to do this for the last couple years. Um, launched a podcast, spoken on this topic, uh, made videos for some of you that are watching right now. Um, that's one of the biggest missions that, that I'm on. And two, on a personal level, uh, my girlfriend and I, who is a YouTuber, by the way, um, she and I were trying to create two home bases. You know, she's originally from Europe and Italy specifically. I'm, my hometown is in Toronto, which is where I am now. And we're trying to create two home bases. Uh, and we don't know how to go about that either, but we have some things that we do right. And I want to be able to showcase the behind the scenes of this process. Mm. I'm not usually a tea guy, but, uh, Coffee, coffee mugs at this Airbnb is pretty good, so. Even though I can't show you what has happened in the last 18 months, uh, I can tell you what's happened in our, my life in the last 96 to 100 hours. Because I was actually supposed to start this exact vlog about four days ago. And four days ago was actually when I was living in Italy. Guys, it's 2.30 a.m. Guess what? We're excited! Yeah. We're going to Italy! How can you be so awake at 2.30? I don't know. I was awake <laughs> at 1 because I could not sleep. And I was living there for about nine and a half weeks. We were there right at the end of the 2017 holidays. Uh, you Leonardo and Gioconda. That's a new <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and so we wanted to spend, my girlfriend and I wanted to spend January, we wanted to spend February there uh, to escape the winter from Toronto, but at the same time, we run online businesses. The entire purpose of running an online business is that you could do it from anywhere. And so uh, we'll talk more about that as this vlog evolves into what my business is around. I help entrepreneurs launch podcasts and put podcasts out in the world. And anyways, we were in Italy and I was gonna start this vlog because we were flying back to Toronto and I was going to this conference and I thought it would be a really exciting way. You know, those vlogs where you showcase kind of like going through the airport. Baby, when's our flight? 9.05. 9.05, what time is it now? 7.48. 7.48. 
Do you think we're gonna make it? Yeah, we're gonna make it. It's gonna be a time. We're gonna arrive in Amsterdam and fly to Toronto. That's it. That's the plan. Anytime that you're at an airport is typically going to be a great day. Well, this particular trip was interesting to say the least. And you know, not only were we had so many different luggages with us and we were trying to make our flight and we were trying to miss, you know, not miss any of our connections. Um, when we ended up landing in Toronto, we landed actually right on time, which is amazing. And I was maybe the fourth person in line uh, waiting at baggage claim uh, for my bags. And so there was literally no one there, the little churning, we have been waiting here for the last half an hour. Look at this madness. My goodness. Insanity when you complain about me. <laughs> yeah. Who needs this much stuff? Thing, whatever that's called, it wasn't even started. And I started waiting there and I proceeded to wait for literally the next 40 minutes. And it was chaotic to, to say the very least. It was, it was like a scene from every traveler's nightmare. It was if you wanted to pick up your bag, I mean, this is what a giant warehouse of luggages would look like. Uh, but you know, the unfortunate truth was that none of those bags was our own bags. And so this airline that we're with, Jet Airways, I'm looking at you by the way, Jet Airways lost three of our bags, that's right. Literally after two and a half hours at the airport, they lost all of our luggages, or all the big luggages. So now we're on our way to buy some underwear, but uh, we arrived safely. Uno, due, tre. How do you like my Italian, huh? The knees is <laughs> knee, toes, knee bro. It's ginocchio. Ginocchio. It has not improved since I started, you know, making videos. Anyways, they lost three of our bags. Um, the whole scene is chaotic. There's 20, 30 people behind me. Uh, we had to fill out this form. There was only five forms. I was fortunate enough to be one of the first people there, so I got one of the forms. People behind me were trying to buy my form off me. One guy said, hey, I'll buy the form off you for $100. I mean, it was madness. And then Jet Airways managed to have only one person in the freaking front kiosk. And so she was really, really stressed out. Uh, they gave us a receipt. We didn't look at it at the time, but it ended up being the wrong receipt. Hold on. So they give you a form like this, okay? And uh, they give you a form like this. And we went online, we checked. You know, we tried to log in with our own information. We realized it wasn't our information. We, we figured out who this person was. We called this person and I even asked her, I said, hey, did you lose your baggage the, uh, yesterday at, with Jet Airways? And the lady said, no, that was not me. And so there was all this confusion going on. Uh, my girlfriend's crying and we have no idea what's going on. And we found out this lady lost their luggage about a month ago. So Jet Airways, seriously not impressed with your service, with how things were handled. However, now that I'm telling you all the story, four days later, they did manage to find our luggage. So at least none of the things that we had were lost. It was just a bit chaotic, obviously landing after a 10 to 11 hour flight cumulatively um, that we had to kind of go through this ordeal. One of the reasons it was stressful is because the next day I was supposed to be attending a two and a half day real estate investing conference. And so one of the businesses going on uh, social media, running a little late this morning, but loving this conference so far. Can't wait to update you all on what's happening. Hope you guys are having an amazing Sunday. Talk soon. What I run is that I run a portfolio for my family and I. We do real estate investing, specifically in Toronto and the surrounding areas of Toronto. And so I was excited to go to this conference, but the problem is all my clothes was within all these bags and none of them was really recovered until about yesterday and today. Long story short, I went shopping the next day, uh, right before the conference, uh, bought some new shoes, bought some, you know, borrowed some blazers and shirts from, from, my, from my younger brother and boom, I was at the conference. I was there for about two and a half days, uh, literally Friday night to uh, yesterday uh, evening. 
and that was amazing. You know, we got to hang out with so many of my uh, real estate investing friends, and you know, there's something to be said when you're hanging out other people that are just thinking at a different level. You know, they're elevating your own thinking. That's I, I feel like that's always been a part of my success secrets of my success is because I run one of the top 100 self-help podcasts and I get a chance to interview some of my heroes but people I really really look up to and I get the chance to just hang out with them for an hour or two and and sometimes that really rubs off on me and anytime you attend a conference uh, where you're around other like-minded people uh, ideas are flowing uh, you're seeing how certain people are thinking about their problems and uh, it was a lot of fun it was it was definitely a lot of fun so that's really been my last 96 hours or so and you know today it's Monday it's the end of the day and the plan is to kind of take you with me as I go through my week and I think this week is actually a perfect representation of how chaotic and how random sometimes a life of an entrepreneur could be and the reason being is I'm gonna showcase different parts of my businesses to you um, you know tomorrow is a bit of an interview day and so I mentioned the podcast before but you're gonna see me getting interviewed and me interviewing other people for my show and I'll walk you through a bit of that when it comes time uh, at some point this week you will see me also teach my own students in my podcast accelerator we do a bi-weekly Q&A with everyone and so that is an amazing way that you could see how an online business actually works and how you could be able to help people all around the world we have students that are from from Italy to London to Australia to US and Canada and it's absolutely amazing to be able to kind of check in with all of them um, I also have you know important meetings with some of my friends as well as my family on the business side of things and and uh, on, I think we end the week with going to a private event, a private workshop, which I'll bring you with me just to kind of see what's on the other side of these things. I think it's like $5,000 US to even get a ticket. And so uh, I fortunately know the person that runs the event. He was on my podcast at one point, but I'll share more of that as we proceed through this week. And I don't know what we have planned for the weekend, but I'm sure it's going to be crazy. I'm sure it's going to be a great adventure. And I want to show you how we live our lives and also show you the true behind the scenes of just growing an online business, an online brand, trying to figure out how you can create an impact in the world, trying to figure out how you create a legacy for your friends, your family. I'm going to do it all. I, come with me on this adventure. I'd love to be able to show you how we do this. I will show you a tour of our Airbnb, but not today. Top of the morning, guys. We are on our way to the end of the week. It's Tuesday. First things first, today is mega chaotic by all standards, but it is pretty much a normal day. So first things first, we got a mission. I got to deliver all these new packages and gifts uh, to my new students. So when you sign up for one of my programs, we give a thank you card as well with a little present. And even though I wrapped it all up already last night, so I can't show you what it is, but I'll show you the stack that we have because we've been gone for so long. Uh, and uh, let, let me show you this. So this is the stack of presents and little kind of, uh, we always give a book, we always give a little thank you card. So if you ever do one of my programs, you'd end up getting one of these. What's going on? Uh, weekly vlog, I just did two interviews. Uh, but I am pretty drained, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but I have two more, actually I have one more, and then I have a coaching session right, right after this where one of my students from Australia is essentially, uh, we set up a time, there's like a 14 hour time difference. So it was like our evening, his morning. But yeah, I'll show you the shows, but not right now, because I'm a little tired. <laughs>
Oh, look at our lunch today. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. What's going on everyone? It is Wednesday, middle of the week. It has been an insane week. I was a little exhausted actually after all the interviews yesterday. But now, today, it's a bit sporadic. I'm gonna work on the business in the morning, build some new funnels. Also talking to a really good friend and mentor of mine, Stephanie Joanne, just kind of checking in with each other. We are out this morning, and Jessica's with me here. And we're one, exploring the neighborhood because it's a new neighborhood that we're in. Um, but two, we're going for our daily gratitude walk. It's where we are grateful for things that are in, that's in our lives and things that are about to come in our lives. And we're walking around being grateful. It's actually snowing. I don't, I don't, know, I don't think it, it'll show up on, on the camera. Um, but today's all about business. Oh, I also have a, I have a q and I have a Q&A today with uh, my podcasting students. And so I'll show some of you what that is like when I run a group uh, Q&A implementation session. These guys are doing construction. Not helping my, me film this weekly vlog here. Um, last but not least, tonight I do a monthly meeting. Every month we meet with my family, my, my really close relatives. We talk about our investment portfolio, our real estate investing portfolio. So I gotta go all the way uptown for that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what's going on today. Um, so hope you guys enjoy this part of the adventure. What are you doing today, baby? What am I doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Filming two videos, editing two videos, oh, and okay. doing a lot of things. This is just Wednesday too. Yeah, middle yeah. of the week. So, uh, look at this tree, by the way. Oh yeah. <laughs> Very Christmas-like. Yeah. Look at this. Why do we snow it? I don't know. Look oh, at it. Even Right? It looks decadent. Right. Decadent and cool. Oh. And coffee of the day. I think you saw the first one earlier. It's not going. It's not really. This is not. This is not how I imagined this vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, no. Nice. Beautiful and creamy. Oh, nice. How can people say this? I have maybe the best master chef <laughs> in Canada at our house. Her name is, what is your name, baby? Francesca yeah. Puyese. <laughs> Il Mundo di Franci. <laughs> All right, still Wednesday. It's about 8 p.m. I need to go find my zip car, go uptown to do our monthly real estate family meeting, so I'll check you guys in the car. That's our car. Let's hope this works. Awesome. Ugh. So it is the end of the night. I'm on my way back. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it just started snowing over here and I am literally one of the only people on the road. I didn't do too good of a job vlogging, uh, but uh, it was an intensive two and a half hours meeting, uh, literally almost midnight. To tomorrow is a full day on the business, uh, but yeah, that is Wednesday. Um, but it's really, really exciting to get your family on the same page, especially if you're doing investments together, to openly talk about everyone's timelines, goals, to get on the, the same wavelength with your family members. Um, for me, I know that's, that's invaluable. So I um, hope you guys have enjoyed today. Can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. You know, when you start a new habit, it is a pain in the butt to actually keep up with it. So uh, this vlog, this experiment, I mean, it's going interestingly. Uh, I didn't take any clips of today. I was literally just working and running errands. Uh, but tonight, I thought I'd bring you along. Uh, I'm seeing two of my really good friends. Uh, one runs an amazing crowdfunding agency and another runs an amazing tech startup. And so we're just catching up, having dinner, drinks, 
And so who you surround yourself with is ultimately who you become. And so I'm very picky on who I spend my time with and I apologize for the shaky footage on this one because uh, I just thought I'd bring my hand didn't have like the Joby or anything. But uh, this is where we are at. So I was trying to shoot, I'm running because I'm late, but I was trying to shoot some like B-roll shots and I'm gonna stop filming because my camera's gonna die soon. So another example of when you start a habit, everything is gonna almost conspire against you, but you gotta keep going, gotta keep going. Let's see what we can do. So here with my really, really great friend, Kirsten Ross. She's a rock star in crowdfunding and we're literally, we just saw each other. It's been like a few months. First time this year. First time this year, we're like, happy 2018. My good friend, Vitaly, runs an amazing startup. He was just telling me some secrets of the startup world and he has some amazing interviews on his channel. It was amazing catching up with him. I'm gonna link to his channel, but this camera's dying still. <laughs> Any wise words you wanna say? Uh, ran out of all the smart things already. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I'm running so late. Typical theme, I guess, of my life. And I'm in a hotel, as you can see behind me, and uh, a little lost, trying to find the room. They switched the room, and uh, it's not, it's not necessarily a good look. So, thousand dollar workshop. My friend Craig Ballantyne is actually running the workshop and it's called the Perfect Life Workshop. Perfect Day Workshop. Can't even get the name of the workshop right. So, you know, I'm really making an effort to try to vlog more, but it is difficult. Like, I understand why I stopped because, you know, when you're constantly running and trying to make events and not look like a total, you know, total jerk for showing up late. There's only so many things you can do. And so, I'm trying to find an elevator. I think they're not gonna let me film in the $5,000 workshop, which, totally understandable. But, uh, okay, I'm gonna go up here. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, back, back to the workshop. I think I found it. I don't know yet, to be honest. There's so many events going on. Cheers. So just finished the workshop a couple hours ago and we obviously, I didn't show any of the behind the scenes, but I'll show you this, okay? These were all the photos that we took in a row. Go! And now it's Friday night, I'm exhausted because we just spent eight, nine hours like pouring our heart and soul into that group, into making our schedules. We're drinking a bit of wine. It's a Spanish wine. Don't know the name of it, but I am gonna spend time with my girlfriend and that is what we do on Friday nights. So cheers and let's see how the rest of the weekend goes.